Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're Mr. Orange Anonymous from the United States of America. We're going to be playing the most popular settings in all of Online Risk. Europe, Advanced, Progressive, Capitals, the Risk Meta settings, the one and only, the tried and true, the best, most popular. And we are the orange player in the fourth position. What do we have for blizzards? France looks pretty weird. Uh, noob, noob dog corner slap. No, I got Greece. Uh, Greece doesn't look good. Uh, Eastern Europe looks pretty gross. Russia doesn't have a lot going for it. These blizzards are kind of crap. This is a poopy game. This is a poopy game. What do I do with all this? Where do you guys want me to cap? I, like at this point, I don't actually care. Where do you guys think I should cap? Iceland? If green caps in Scotland, I can't go Iceland. He's going to go Scotland. What's up, Alexander Sukos? He didn't... You ram dingle? All right, I, I, tell me where in chat, and I will listen. If the, the, whatever I see the most of, I will I will cap where you guys want. We'll just do it. There's Italy, Greece, Africa, Russia, Iceland, and Estonia and Latvia. Iceland, Italy, Mid Africa. Oh, you guys are trolling the crap out of me. You, okay, six people said six different things. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for your help. It's my fault for giving you six options. Let's be real. I shouldn't have given you six options. Noob corner, Iceland. Okay, I have... I have three Greece and three... Four Greece. Four Greece and three Iceland. We go Greece. That was close, bros. Six different votes and then it was Iceland or Greece. I was I was actually fully prepared for Iceland and you guys switched me to Greece. Rigged Baldwin, you're the one that rigs and wins every gamble. What are you talking about? Yeah, like I I I'm pretty confident. Like okay, so you guys before like as soon as we spawned in you're all like Iceland as a joke, but when I'm like, "Okay, you picked my cap." I had like literally six different fucking comments. <laughs> And then we got four Greece to three Iceland, I think. So that was the, the mix. And I think we had two Italy. So we are Greece. And purple's not captive. So let's raw dog, man. <clears throat> Turn one Africa? No. Where are you? Are you Romania or Hungary? Are you... Roll Hungary. Please tell me you're not sitting in Hungary with a slapper. Zephyr with the sub. What's up, bro? Welcome in. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, he's Captain Hungry. Crap, I'm in trouble. Oh, probably gonna taste it by green. I take Eastern Europe turn one. Oh. I mean, that would be kind of cool. I think longer term, I can take everything out of the bottom, right? Nobody's in Egypt, maybe? 10, 9, 8, 8 on 2, perfect dice. 7, 6, 5, 5 on 2, perfect dice. Takes the bonus. I have a 5 cap. This 7 cap turns into a 17, 16, 16 on 5. I lose the game, but I hold Africa. Then I backdoor black in Spain. Interesting strategy. <clears throat> I don't think that's the strat I want to go with, but it's interesting. A seven, like I said. We'll try to be friendly with green and see what happens. He's General Jaeger, 2754. Surprise, motherfucker! I knew exactly what he had here. I literally called a seven. Sick. Yeah, I hope he goes for Noob Corner, honestly. I hope if I can be friends with him and he goes for Noob Corner, super happy. I will come through uh, Africa, then I'll work on Orient. 
I'll work on my bottom bonuses. What's up, Sam Samid? S uh, Samid? Samid? I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but 42069. I do know the number. Good luck and a nice day to you. Thank you, man. I hope you have a good day as well. So, W1 joined you in the 49 point club last night. Let's go. <clears throat> what is this? Tell me you didn't cap in Egypt when you saw me cap Greece. You saw me cap in Greece and you capped in Egypt. You didn't go to Alps. You didn't have a better option. You didn't go to Russia. I can tell you if somebody capped in Greece and I was sitting in Egypt, I'm probably capping Russia as last. Almost certainly. He probably didn't, he didn't have any vision in here, right? So like, I probably don't go Alps. There's not much, Alps doesn't have much going for it, but I can tell you if he's in Egypt and he could have went Russia, I mean, unless he's got knowledge, there's something stupid over here, which there could be. Let's be real. I'm from the kick chat. What's up? I do. I do recognize the name. It needs to have a green K beside it. <clears throat> hey, I'm new around here. There's only so many. Oh, he is going to be friendly, I think. Okay. That's cool. Uh, yellow gets eight. Yellow has Scandinavia. So yellow might come in here and fuck green. Yellow goes into green. That makes me really happy because green might come up through here and ramdingle yellow. Go. No, no. He's going to Russia. Okay. Or he's coming down here. Either way, I do... I have to beat out... I have to beat up purple. Hey, I'm new around here. What's up, fruitcake? At Doyle Rose. W1 with the gift sub for fruitcake. Thank you, bro. Jesus. Why do you leave the seven? Because he wants to guard the bonus. <clears throat> so I actually also... If I break purple, I have to also hit this three out. Because purple will use this three to break me if I don't. So I actually... Let's do this. Does this work? No, if that worked, that would have been hilarious because I would have maybe even taken the bonus. Purple's hurting now. What's he going to do to me? Pop, 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 like, taste it, baby boy. If you're in Egypt, why would you cap in Egypt? I mean, maybe, oh, he has no capital. The seven comes into my cap's face, and now I pop here. Doesn't matter. Where's your capital? <clears throat> this guy, wait, did he lose it on turn one? Purple lost his cap on turn one. So he's going for Africa as like a consolation prize, but he lost his capital turn one. I hope he's just buffing. He's not going to ram dingle. I'd like to have good relations with green. We also got Abaru Abracadabra from Palestine. We've got General Jaeger from United States. He's knocking purple out here. Cool. He's going for Italy. We've got General Tahara 19532 from unspecified location. General Schnitzer from United States and Norton Chana from Sideways Reverse uh, Pac-Man. Uh, what happened? Zephyr with 500 bits. Thank you, bro. Sam with 100 bits. Thank you as well. Jesus, you guys started a hype train. Thank you. I can actually see the hype train now that we're doing a Twitch-only stream. I swear to God, when I was on uh, multi-streams, I couldn't see hype trains. I couldn't see... Like, there was a lot I was missing <clears throat> as far as Twitch was concerned. Dude, thank you guys so much. Fuck YouTube. No, well, YouTube's good to me. Let's be real. YouTube's good to me. But the streaming on YouTube, there's way more snipers. And it's insane to try to keep up with. Let's try this again.
I mean, Purple's quitting at some point, right? He's not going to get to hold it. He has three troops a turn, and I'm getting 10 or something. Green seems to be a good player, so I'm actually very happy that Green knows what he's doing. I mean, if I get into a 1v1 later, I might be a little sad that he knows what he's doing, but I'm happy he knows what he's doing now. Like, you want to neighbor good players in the early game, but in the end game, you don't want to fight them because they're harder to beat. Yep, gone. Gonzo, baby town. Exactly. Gonzo Ria. Dripping right out of him. Woo! Were you missing it, or were you too lazy to get four monitors and turn your head 210 degrees? Wait, what? Good evening from Norway. What's up, Stig? Wait, what do you... What do you mean, Zephyr? <clears throat> was I missing it, or was I too lazy to get four monitors? Oh, multiple chats. Uh, El Camino, thank you for the resub. No, uh, so what restream, so I could only show Twitch stream, or Twitch chat on the stream. Okay, it's gonna go for Italy. Yeah, which is fine. I could only show Twitch chat on the stream to Twitch, because that's part of their rules. <laughs> oh, green's a true homie. And then, I think he's gonna take this. I'm hoping yellow's cool. But I could actually see all three chats combined. So restream, when I stream to restream, it sends to di different places, but it pulls all the chats together, combines them, and then adds it all together in my OBS together. I can't show that chat on stream, but I could see all three chats. And if, you, if you're if you speaking in the YouTube chat, I would see a YouTube symbol. If you're speaking from Twitch or Kick, I would see those symbols as well. Yellow's now turning on green while green owns the middle of the board. That's interesting. Wait. Was that a cap hit? No, because there was no cap in here. I got 19 now. Well played, he says. Yeah, thank you. I think green's going to mess with yellow, so I'm going to do some other stuff. I want purple to go a different way. Hmm. I don't want to blitz that. I mean, four should be more likely to hit this three than my four, right? You would think. Uh, Zephyr with the 100 bits. Thank you. Al Camino with the resub. Hippo Fighter, or Hypo Fighter with the 100 bits. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Give me a hype train to start today. I'm probably getting broken at some point. No, whites. Well, green now has access into yellow's stuff. He already does with this 10, though. I am not betraying green, right? Green has been a true homie already, and I... I'm going to have to play with him later, so I'm going to have a good relationship with him as long as I can. Especially if, he, if he's going to fight yellow, I'm just going to fight the bot in the bottom. Uh, I don't think white's a threat right now. White's get Purple's getting three, black's getting five, white is getting five. So white and black aren't scary. Green's the only person that's like realistically got a black card skipping. Without even Spain, dude. He doesn't even have this. White and black are in here just fighting? Or, oh, they want the France honeypot. Yeah, he's raw dogging. He's raw dogging the crap out of yellow. Early trade and everything. Leader two out of six. Who has two, but not yellow, not green. Wait, who has two? It must be green. No, he only got nine. Yellow's getting eight. 13 now. Yeah, so it was yellow. Did he take a cap from him? Huh. Yellow gets seven now, so he's got two caps, but no bonus. Uh, thank you guys so much for the hype train. I really appreciate it. I can pin cheers? I, I'm not sure. My kids have been eating crackers at the computer. At the computer, That's probably not good for the keyboard. Probably not. What's up, Red Baron? When am I playing round four in the championship? On Wednesday. I play on Wednesday. I can't stream it, but uh, I'm going to record it. We'll be putting it on YouTube for Saturday. It'll be 18 months and three days. Wow, man. Actually, I can spoil it for you guys. There is something actually happening tonight that's interesting. Uh, 
The Kill Pete strategy might be going live in a couple hours. You guys haven't seen him in a minute. I don't know if you've ever heard of this man. The Kill Pete strategy. He's a tall, handsome devil. Uh, he plays the game of Risk. He used to be world champion of the game of Risk. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I think you guys have probably heard of him, some of you. But if you haven't heard of him, that's who it is. And uh, he's going to be going live tonight, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what's going to happen. Pretty neat. <laughs> you guys think I'm crazy, right? But it's a real story. It's, it's actually happening. Okay, we're just going to ram dingle a bit. We are ram dingling a little bit. Pete, is he hot? I mean, if you're into dudes, you have to kind of judge for yourself, right? Yellow actually knocked green out here completely. Interesting. Did white have a bonus yet? No. This game is so confusing to me. Yeah, he's the karaoke guy. You know him. Isn't he that terrible singer? <laughs> what if I don't want to kill Pete? Uh, you don't have to. You can actually just watch him play, and he will kill other people in the game of Risk. I actually don't know. He might be playing Jeopardy. He might. I don't know what he's got planned for tonight. But I did... Uh, I was talking to him, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Said I'm going live. He said he's probably going on after me. So it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm Team Kanye. Pete Boo. Is there like a big Kanye West versus uh, Kill Pete strategy like beef we don't know about? Because that'd be good drama for the Risk community, you know? If he could get into a beef with Kanye, that would be good for the Risk community. Can I kill Purple? He's going off, he's going off, right? That breaks me. Huh. No longer are we friends, apparently. He's done fighting yellow. Hmm. I have a nice little three point on these at least. Triple dudes, which is cool. We always love having triple dudes. Hmm. I want to see what what the purple kill looks like. Okay. There it is. A yellow cap? Huh. Poland to Jelfa. Where's Poland? We'll do that for now. I'm not swinging at yellow. I think we're okay to chill for a minute. Let, let's just chill. No, we're fine. I don't need to break yellow. I don't swing at yellow's cap, and I don't break yellow here. Yellow took in here, and we're going to see. He's probably focused on other things. White trades inside of him, and he's fighting. Like, white is in here. Black is in here. There is an absolute bunch of shenanigans happening over this France, what you would think is a honeypot, but it's just terrible. It's a terrible ice age in there. Black's trading for 15. 
Starts with five. White starts with... Like, these guys are just... Where are they? Like, Gascony versus Burgundy? Like, yellow probably hits this to make sure I don't have this bonus. And I think he stops, right? And he'll see that only there's black. So he probably doesn't even go any further. Or he might not even want to accidentally open me. No. Green double breaks me. So I think green's a decent player, right? He knows he needs to slow me down, but he also can't sacrifice too much. <laughs> 51? I could make a 55 versus green's 29 cap. That's kind of funny. I could probably kill somebody, let's be real. Actually, I didn't need to do that, because I have this, ele this 11. I wonder if they fail a black kill. How about that green? Oh, that fortify actually didn't work or did it? Yeah, eight. Okay. He's going to ram dingle me? I hope he leaves the 18 at least. I hope he doesn't go through my 11. I might actually taste it a bit from all of them. We'll see. No, he, he just wants Italy. That's fine. I'm not... Like, now that green's, like, fully committed to breaking me, green has to die, right? That's fine. White, black, and red can fight. Green's the next target. If I had a trade on three this turn and he had no trade on four, he was dead immediately. That's not the case. He's probably going to trade and I don't have one, so he'll live longer. And he's going to get to bust me up a bit. But I mean 29, 31 to my 128. Yeah. Go ahead, bust me up. Mm -hmm. How deep's he go? He doesn't open the 34, does he? He might. No, he doesn't. But I still hold a bonus. Unless yellow breaks. Okay. One oh three to forty three, right? With a bunch of ones. Yellow starts with seventeen, so he's got noob corner, scandy, two caps in Spain? No, that's way too much. <clears throat> They're literally white and black are just here. It's ridiculous. The white twenty four here is annoying. Time to bully green. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Green's going to be tasting it. He's lucky I have no trade on three. Let's do this again. He's going to have a trade on three, too. 
Oh, he's going to have a trade on 3-2. He had to try it. Yeah, he's, he had to either slow me down or commit to his fight with yellow maybe earlier. I don't know what the board looked like for him. I don't know what his advance, what his position looked like. If it was advantageous for him to fight or chain kills white and black. Like, how, how weak were white and black in the early game? I didn't look, but I could have. Maybe I had them. Maybe he had them and he could have snowballed, right? Black's hitting white. Or is he, he's going to ramdingle me. Please stop. Okay, this is okay. He opens me. Double breaks. Yeah, dick. He was going to come right through and break me through the bottom. He didn't know my cap was here, though. So instead, of, he thought the cap was in Italy. So he went through this way. Green wants to make sure he breaks more. He's losing nothing. That's so frustrating. If he has a trade on three, I'm going to be incredibly sad. He's got to be careful, right? Because if his if he keeps rolling, I can kill him. I have a 13 to slow roll his cap. Okay. How much do I get? Yellow gets 21. Let's say I get 10, 12, 18, 52, 51 with slow rolling. I wouldn't get his kill, though. If I had a trade, I would kill him immediately. Yeah, yellow's going to kill white and black. Black shouldn't have wasted his troops on me. He has bigger problems. I'm fighting green. I mean, I'm still a problem. I go from watching you on YouTube to Twitch. Maybe I have a problem. I don't think that's a problem. Finger Green's Chocolate Factory. What? Stream sniper counter? I actually, I don't think there's a sniper in here. Well played. <clears throat> Does he kill uh, white now? Here's the thing. Now now we have a situation where yellow's the, the one that's winning the game. Because yellow could kill white now, probably, and then trade. And I have green going all in on me. No? Okay, he stops. Hmm. And a slider every dice roll. Not open his capital this time? Maybe my problem last time was actually opening his cap again. If I had a trade on four there, probably I could have killed white. I mean, would I? I could have definitely killed green. So actually, I think if I had a trade on four there, I would have killed green. Yeah. And then let white and yellow do stuff and just try to be strong enough on my cap to survive till the next turn when I would have five cards in a trade again. Because I would have traded on four to kill him for three. So I would have been on four, take a fifth card. And I would be praying I get the one more turn to come off these caps and go ram dingle. Uh, white's taking a third card. Yellow might trade, kill yellow. Or sorry, Yellow might trade, kill white, trade, kill green, trade, and win the game. So we might lose to yellow right now. I, it looks like white's ram dangling him, so that helps a little bit. But uh, get your fortify back to your capital or we're toast. We are, we're already probably toast. I think yellow might win right now. And I don't think I had enough to come off my cap and kill white. So I don't think I had an opening. Green botted? No, he's chilling. He's going back to cap. Yeah, he's got to he's got to stay strong on cap. I almost wanted him to have a trade on three because I'm scared of yellow winning the game right now. So like, if green had a trade on three, then yellow couldn't win right now. That's a slider on a capital. Four out of six. Oh, he's manualing. 
Maybe he's got multiple stacks pointed at the cap, so he's manualing the other ones. There it is. And then he's blitzing after. Now he's going for the white kill. He's going to get it and get a trade. I mean, maybe he screws a path up, but I don't think he does. Yeah, he's going to end here, and then he's going to ram me through the back. Oh. Yeah, okay, he's still got it in here somewhere. He knows, he knows where he's got to go. He has it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, final three. He's going to get a 50 trade. <clears throat> Please win this fast. Thank you, Drippin. I'll try, man. Uh, I could I could lose right now. No, he's guarding his caps. He's not killing green. Okay, so he didn't position himself to kill green. His time's running out. I'm just going to say well played. And he's fortifying. He's not even hitting me. All right. Then. Ripperino green. Hey, friend. Let's see. Now I'm in a 1v1 <clears throat> with a card lead and a good board position. Huh. Interesting. What? I don't make it into these, right? Okay. Got a trade on four. Burn, we're okay. We're okay. 211 troops he's got. We're, we're going to take this one. What are those caps? This is the, the, the black-white Fiesta Dogtown that was happening. One, two, three. He's got four caps. There's another cap in here. London? Gascony. No, my bonuses. I can't tell where Kyle begins or the territory's end. Spud with the 10 out of 10 con uh, content, or comment. Content as well, but. <clears throat> What's up, Fallens? Fallens Faith, first time chatter. Uh, Kilted, hello from Australia. First time catching you live with all the Ram. Watch all the Ram Dingles on YouTube. Pete got me into risk. You, JJ, and Pete have got me to 2,000 rank points, or 2,000 points off of GM in a short amount of time. Fuck yeah, man. I'm happy, I'm happy to hear it, man. And I'm actually very happy I can see first time chatters now, because I, I couldn't for a while. Um, did he get a fortify back or did he screw it? <clears throat> I don't know if he screwed the pooch or not. What are the trades? I I don't want him to get a lucky cap roll. Or a cap run. Yeah. He's not fast enough. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't care if he trades and hits the 15 cap, right? I got it for free. If he hits a 15 cap, have at her, dude, right? I want... Th this cap is important because it's open. This cap's trapped troops. He actually doesn't even have a trade. Oh. Poor boy. This 23 is also trapped. It can't go in here. So this stack is the only stack that can break Orient and Russia. And it's not going to be able to. There you go. Good job, you got Italy. Uh -huh. How weak's this? I can almost take everything but this cap next turn. 
<clears throat> I mean, I can probably take this cap based on what I'm just holding, right? I need to send dudes, baby. I got two dudes. What's up, Danny? <clears throat> Same story, but not from Australia. Fair, fair. No, I'm very happy to see. Uh, am I drinking orange pop? No, I've got Coke Zero. I'm very happy when I see people come in and they're like, you got me into risk or you helped me get to master or grandmaster or whatever. I love those stories. Hey, hey, hey. Who rules? Doyle rules. Big time. Baby. The dudes have been sent, baby town! Oh, you're gonna feel the pain, sir. Oh, you have 70 troops. Oh, no. This might take a minute because he trades uh, right after me, right? I trade, then he trades. So it might take a minute. If he has a trade on three, party! What's up? Eric's in here. What's up, bro? Thank you for the sub. 12 months. Jesus. And RJ with the gift sub for uh, spot at the same time. Thank you, guys. And Rad1 Skull with the follow. I missed that 15 minutes ago, but thank you as well. Spud, Spud also gave me some help on the Discord channels. Hell yeah, Spud is one of the uh, the OGs for helping people on Discord get into get into risk and stick around. Even before uh, everybody else started doing it, and even before risk turned into what it is now, Spud was there. He was there in the age of the dinosaurs because he is one of them. What? So he went back to this capital? Cool. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if the card block makes sense yet, to be honest. We're just gonna chill. I don't care. <clears throat> we'll chill. He gets what, 11? Trade on three, no? He does get a reach around slapper down here, but he probably opens the 20. No, I don't think he does. That's fine. I can, uh, I still hold everything. I, well, I want to take this 16, but he doesn't take this territory. Unless he wants to break Italy. <clears throat> He's like, wait, I should have broken Eastern Europe. No, no, take Orient. That's fine. You're good. How much money is that? How much is what? I was watching Dania the other night and someone gave him a thousand and five Twitch subs. Uh, a thousand, a thousand subs is like $5,000 that it costs. And of the 5,000, you get about 2,000. If anybody ever wants to do a, a, an amount like that, please talk to me beforehand. Cause there's ways to do it where, uh, most of the money doesn't like disappear into fairy dust. <laughs> Jesus. That's an insane amount of subs. Okay, hold on. I have 48 troops. Jesus, this guy just needs to give up. At this point, this guy just needs to give up, right? Yeah, I could do this, actually. He's not coming off with that, right? I, like, I'm like, if he doesn't have a trade, I kind of want the 20 to stay there, right? Send dudes again! Send dudes again! Please. 
Dude Dust. If you give that much, Kilta will sing karaoke. I, for $5,000, I would sing karaoke. But, <laughs> but it would have to be not gift subs. There's no sense. More than 50% disappears. I would rather... That, that's how, that's what the one downside of Twitch is like 60% of subs goes to it. Ooh. Did someone say chair? What chair has a special surprise for a thousand subs? Just take all the shit with the hunter cap? So I don't want to card block myself, right? Like we've got him as is. He came off the 16, right? I'm presuming. Oops. Okay, cool. Exactly. Huh, let's just do this. I honestly don't care. Like, what's he actually going to do to me? Ah, oh, one troop short. Ah, JC with the 100 bits for chair. Thank you, bro. Oh. Go ahead. Get your Ram Dingle on. Didn't send me a dude. You have not even half as many troops as me. Just, just fold, dude. Fold your hand. You have, you have two pair. I'm calling it. I got a royal flush. It's in orange. You're donezo, kiddo. You're donezo. He has two capitals. Neither of them's open. I own the whole board and four capitals, and they're all strong, and you can't take them. Yeah, the 16 was a 3-cap. That's what I thought, too. Oh, man. I would love to see Kilted eat sushi off of Chair's naked body. Uh, I would do karaoke before I would eat sushi. I have never eaten sushi. My girlfriend's trying to get me to eat sushi, but, like, I don't see a world where that ever happens. Um, let's just do this. And this. Oh, we can come up here, actually. What do I want to do with my Fortify? I'll just come up to 60. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We'll give him a card in here, you know? I Now that he doesn't see this cap, I'm cool. I have a trade on four. Go ahead. I'd, I'd actually want you to trade on three. Baradak. Oh, no. Who let him in here? What's up, man? Damn killed it. Called him kiddo. That's kind of degrading. No. Yo, Carter raided. By the way, Carter, thank you for the raid, man. Hope you're doing well. Shout out, Chad Carter. This man, C. Carter1996, is a semifinalist in the Kill Pete Open. Go give him a follow. Uh, he's going to be playing in the semifinals this week. I, don't, I forget if he's the, the Wednesday game or the Sunday game, but absolutely amazing player and lovely dude. Go check him out. Thank you for the raid, man. Uh, yeah, okay. So now what's going on? I get 48 again. Okay, cool. Something like this. Uh, 
Uh, Zidono with a raid. What's up? We got more people coming in. What's up, Zidono? Oh, nah, no trade on four. Taste it. We got to do another shout out here for Zidono, another epic risk player. Lovely dude. Great personality. Great games. I want to spell it right. Nice. More. I have to wait 37 seconds before giving a shout out. Why is he crying? Are you crying because you're losing? Because we already knew you were going to lose, man. 156 troops. Wowzers. Uh, I kind of like my little block around him up here. I'm going to just take the bottom one, maybe? I mean, I would I would presume 169 gets in. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to manual that. In what world do I care about that? Oh, that was a roll, though. That was some specialty right there. Just tasty. I don't need 100 here. 69? I don't even need 69. We'll go 40. Oh, no! Carter with the 100 bits. Thank you, bro. And Faradak making me dance like an idiot. Wow! He killed my 13 and only lost 3! Wow! Now stop crying about what? Oh, Wooden Faradax here. I hate Faradax. Thank you for the fight, good stuff, bro. Oh, RJ got a shout out in. Oh, wait, my other shout out. Yeah, check out Zidono. His link's in the chat. Uh, dude, fool. You don't even have two pair anymore, dude. You're holding like a jack high. You don't even have a jack high and somebody spilled beer on it and the corners crumpled. That's all you have in your fucking hand. Get out of my game. Damn, I, I got sick ass move, you're damn right. I dance like an absolute baboon. Ooh, dice, baby. Yeah, that should work, right? I mean, if you want to trade on three and do that, go for it, bro. Give her. That's my boy. Good game. Well played. I was a little sad he dragged it out. He, he could have forfeited earlier, but uh, a lot of the times in the 1v1, you do want to make your opponent show you that they can beat you in the 1v1. Because if I, I, a lot of people play this game and they can get to the 1v1 and then they have no fucking clue what to do. All they know how to do is sit in a corner and do nothing or attack a lot of the territories. They don't know how to actually just clean it. So I get into the 1v1 with people and, and I overstay too because I make them show me they know how to beat me, right? Oh, baby, four experts and a beginner. We'll take that, man. What a fun game. That was a great start to the stream, man, and a great video for the second channel on YouTube. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.